Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play One More 40k Inquisitor Tomato in the next round. This time a demonic incursion against Chaos Demons again. Of course, it is always Chaos or most times. I'm just, you know, anyhow, Drew Carry technically, or you could say they are Slanishy, but I meant Corn. Chaos Corn as the main godness we Face anyhow, another wrecked warship from the ill fated battlefield Icaron has emerged from the Immaterium. The vessel was detected by Void Station Petrol Craft, and relayed pick feeds were identified by covert auto assets board and clans as per standard auto protocols. Destroy several warp gates that spawn chaos reinforcements from the Immaterium. Destroy all warp gates. Our navigator has gone half mad from the warp anomalies. We've detected several warp rifts in the area. The veil between the real space and the immaterium is fading. We have to stop this madness. Will do. Will do. We will quickly, um, maybe quickly, um, burn our way through all of the enemies and then destroy those nasty little warp gates as is usual. So, as I said in the last couple of episodes i am slowly steadily well i actually i am in love with the multi melter an impressive repressive weapon and a tool i was missing before um if i think about the time where we or when we were equipped with the auto gun which was absolutely amazing because of its burst fire mode if you remember that the auto gun is actually burst firing, which is great because it um, brings out three shots uh, instead of one, which means um, if you kill the first enemy, the shot would fly through to all the um, enemies behind, and so you could theoretically, with one shot or with one burst, kill off m multiple enemies and there was a nice little feature um, what I am missing a little bit with the with the um, with the heavy bolt gun overall I have to say I'm getting to I'm getting slowly used to how to correctly fire with heat based weapons what I maybe did too often using all of these belts one not one by one but you know um, all together which of course always made them overheat very very quickly that i shall not do and maybe we can use it over um, larger amounts of time that of course would be quite useful wouldn't it of course against certain amounts and um, certain enemies of course we have to use it in that mode um, there was a misfire because I was thinking of having the <laughs> bolt gun equipped. A little mistake on my side. Okay, getting out of... Why did I not just use the bloody... Um... Ah, why did I not just use the bloody um, inoculator? I don't get it. There you can see, I... Um, playing this game very very long and still at certain points I am very very uncertain how to play this wonderful little game so warp gate down no problem at all so I of course now going to take a <laughs> a inoculator refill weapon is overheated we still have a couple of enemies right here which I should deal with instantly so I have the feeling that the beacon is teleporting enemies out as well I am not sure well maybe I was just misunderstanding no I think I was not misunderstanding the red energy particles whatever you want to call them and which we're going through the line between the beacon and the warp gate. So it is summoning. Nice. Good to know. Time to leave this so something I have not seen actually before is that 
through the um, that there are some enemies after you killed or, or after you killed off the door mechan mechanism, so to say, that everything is going and that there are new enemies being summoned in. So that is oh, good lord, thank you. That was going good. So keep in mind to kill off those beacons as well. Not quite useful. So at least you can reduce the amount of summoned enemies and that is I guess very useful as well. So I just assume there are is another wave of enemies coming through, so nothing to worry about. Or did they mean the Void Ripper processed? I don't know. I will do it simply and kill off the warp gate. La okay. Is I think always a reliable option if you are not willing to kill off all them enemies, um, which I can absolutely understand. I don't always wanna do that as well because it sometimes feels like you know the episode is dragging or the mission is dragging on. But to kill off the warp gate, of course, is the one of the greatest options right there. Come on, go on here. Is nice. That is what we wanted. They were gone. So, oh, I've ever seen this one. Nice. Overseeing of enemies is a common feature of the game, I think. You can see, you can say I have overseen another enemy right there. Shame on me. Okay, I thought I put more into the skull taker. Come on, take it down. The bad thing here is we. Okay, we have an inoculator available. And. Come on, give me the multimeter. Multimeter, please. Nice, that was the last second there, I think. Alright, all enemies are gone. And I will definitely take the refill there with me. Sad thing that our power rating is relatively low. But that I'm right now going to accept. Okay, gone, gone, gone. Gonos, 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 nice like that. Um, I'm ignoring the inoculator refill, not necessary right now. And I will do the simple thing, guys. Sorry, but sometimes I just want to have it easy. Switch, please, switch and take it down, take it down. Just focus on the warp gate there. Come on. And gone we are. Sorry, sometimes in certain missions I'm just accurated. Oh, the tongue looks great. Anyhow, accurated by the enemies and just teleport out of there. Nice. So, we take a quick look at the items we have received because I think they might be not that bad because the power rating was technically higher. A Signum Purity Seal, great in the Nile plant. So, quick look. 142, 43, 42 is not our current power rating. Nice, okay, nothing at all. Guys, that brings us to the end of this episode. And you know it, I, as usual, really thank you for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Safe, trusty. Bye.